Hey everybody, welcome back to Technium Gaming. I'm Technium, and today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft Forge so you can play modded Minecraft on 1.18.2, which right now is the latest version. Um, this should also work for 1.18.1 and maybe 1.17 as well. If you need an earlier version, you can go back to any of my other videos that did 1.16 through 1.12. So if you need those guides, I'll put links to those videos in the description, and let's just jump right into it. The first thing you're going to need is Minecraft. You're going to have to open the Minecraft launcher, click on play up here if it's not open, and then over here select latest release. So the first thing you're going to need is the Minecraft launcher, and you're going to open the play tab here, and then over here in this little box, click on latest release if the latest release is 1.18.2. If it isn't, then you'll come over to Installations, you'll click New Installation, you can name it, for instance 1.18.2 or whatever you like, and then in this version drop down, you can search for the version you're looking for. So for 1.18.2, it'll be this one, but if you're trying to do 1.18.1 for instance, just scroll down until you see 1.18.1 here, and select that. And then you can leave everything else default. And then if you want to, you can set a custom game directory, which I'll do right now by going down to desktop right here, clicking new folder, and I'll name it Minecraft 1.18.2 Forge. And then just click OK. Now you'll see this new folder here. Creating this folder is just so that you can access the mods easier, so you can place mods into the folder without having to search for the normal folder that it's in, which is a little bit more complicated, but I will go over it with you. Then once you've done that, just click Create. And you'll have your custom version right here. Since the latest release already is 1.18.2, I'll just use... I'll just use the standard one right here. Then you just need to launch 1.18.2. By clicking play it'll download some files generally if you've never played 1.18.2 yet it'll download the whole game if you have it'll probably load faster for you and once it's finished downloading it'll install it and start the game let the game load up and once you've loaded in, all you have to do is close out now. And then you're going to go to your web browser. You're going to type in files.minecraftforge.net, just like this. And I will leave a link to that in the comments in case you can't see it. And then on the left panel here, it'll say Minecraft version. If you click this drop down for 1.18, you'll see 1.18.2, 0 0.1, uh, the one without a subversion, 1.17, and so on and so forth. Just click on 1.18.2 if it isn't already there. And then you can show all versions. The starred version here on the left, that means it's the recommended version, which means it's the one that they don't think has any bugs left in it, or at least is safe to run and recommended by them. So I would choose that. And then normally if you click installer, it'll take you to an ad page. If you want to skip that though, just click this little eye right next to the word installer, and that'll let you download it directly. And then you can click on this drop down if you're in Chrome and click show in folder. Once it finishes downloading, it'll open up your downloads folder when you click that. And then what you want to do is double click it, click install client. It'll download the Forge libraries and files that let Forge run. And once that is done, it will come up with a pop-up that says that Forge has been installed successfully. Just like this, successfully installed client profile for Forge 1.18.2. Click OK. Now you can close out of that folder, you can close your browser. Then you just open Minecraft again. Then click on Installations. You should see here Forge 1.18.2. If you want to use this one, you can. 
You can always access the folder to put mods into it by clicking this folder icon right here on the right side of the install. And it won't have a mods folder at the very first run, but if you click play, click you understand the risks, it just means that you're playing modded Minecraft. Hit play, it'll set up again. Should be a much smaller setup as long as you ran the first 1.18.2 version. Then once it loads for the first time, you'll see here it says mods in that folder. This is where you're going to put any mods that you download. Make sure whatever mods you download have 1.18.2 version. Otherwise it will probably crash the game and just tell you that it won't run on another version. So you loaded the game. It says down here in the bottom left corner now, Forge 40.1.0. Yours may be a little different version number because it may have updated since this video. But as long as it says Forge and Minecraft and then the version that you want to use, then you're all set. Now you can quit the game. And I'll go ahead and download one mod for you while I'm here so that I can show you that so that I can show you the process so that everything goes smoothly for you. The place that you're gonna to want to get mods is called CurseForge. You can search CurseForge Minecraft, and the first thing that comes up should be mods for Minecraft. Once you're here on CurseForge, click on game version, and then go to 1.18.2 right here to make sure that you're getting mods that are made for your version. And then it should load all mods that are for your version of Minecraft. Then click on whichever mod you like. I'll go to just enough items here so that we can test it. This mod, in case you're wondering, shows you every single item in the game and block on your right side when you're in your inventory and it'll show you the crafting recipe to make those things if there is a crafting recipe. So we'll go ahead and download this one. Well, so to make sure you're getting the exact version, you want to make sure that if the mod has a name with a version in it that it's 1.18.2, but if it's not so clear you can click on files and then right here it'll say game version and then the version that the mod works for. As you can see, if you go back down here, all the recent versions are for 1.18.2. Sometimes they'll be for multiple versions. So you can highlight over this plus number here, and it should say if there's any other versions, it'll say like 1.18.1 there. But this one's just for 1.18.2, and that's what we're looking for. So we'll just click download. You'll give it the five seconds to begin downloading. Once it's finished, once it's finished, just click the drop down, click show in folder. It'll take you to the downloads folder. Just copy or cut and paste into the mods folder. You can always get to your mods folder by clicking the launcher, letting the launcher load, go to installations, find the forge version that you're working with. Click on that folder icon. It'll take you to the Minecraft directory for that install. Click on mods, and then you can paste any of your mods into this folder. So now we have JEI installed into the mods folder for our new Forge installation. So then all you have to do is click play. It should automatically load up any mods that you put in that folder. And we'll just test it real quick to make sure that everything worked. And then you should be all set to begin using modded Minecraft on 1.18. So we'll load up a new single player world. And we'll create the new world. Now the world's loaded. The best way to test that your mod is installed is by going into creative and searching for the items that the mod adds. But this mod's pretty simple because it should work whether you're creative or not because it's just a GUI change. So we'll just open our inventory. And as you can see on the right side, this is not normal Minecraft. This is JEI. So we know that the mod installed successfully. And if you click on an item, it'll show you how to craft it. And if you want to know all the features for JEI, you can check out their mods page on CurseForge. And that should just about do it. If you have any other questions about installing modded Minecraft on 1.17 or 18, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.